What's good, YouTube? Fibonacci here to do my NFL Week 9 predictions. So right off the bat, i got to give my team a little credit. Still the only team undefeated in the NFL. Shout out to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I just, you know, real quick, I just got to say, I mean, I've been following the team for about 10 years now. And uh, it just it does feel very good to be in this kind of position after all the years that we've had and everything, getting to a couple AFC championship games and losing. Um, but never having like a season like this where we've gone, you know, seven and zero and all that. I, it's it's incredible. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, but I am going to appreciate it. That's for sure. Because uh, in my lifetime, never had to, never got to experience this. So. It's awesome. I am uh, definitely happy about it. Hopefully we can still stay under the radar, even though that's pretty damn hard when you're the only undefeated team. And, uh, and you've actually played about three worthy games, which everybody says, oh, you haven't played anybody. But, hey, we're starting to play some people, and we're still winning. So let's go. Uh, this week, you know, this could be a trap game, too. So I'm not, you know, I'm not holding my breath or anything. We're just going to have to see. But I just wanted to get that out of the way because, you know, this is my team, and I got I to gotta show them some love for doing as good as they are. So shout out to the Steelers. Uh, so after that, let's get right into it. Um, uh, I've mentioned in a few of my videos before, I'm trying to just make these as quick as I can. No cuts or edits or anything like that. Just kind of go boom, boom. Who do I think's going to win? Uh, and yeah. So we're going to start off with tonight's game. We have the Packers and the 49ers. If it wasn't for so many injuries on the 49ers, uh, I would probably be more skeptical on who to choose. Uh, and I may even choose the 49ers because 49ers, even with uh, the backup quarterback for a couple quarters last week, actually came pretty close to at least uh, tying or winning um, against Seattle, or at least they were coming back. Um, not sure if they had a chance, but they did start to move the ball down the field. And it seems like they can do that against uh, pretty average defenses when it comes to, like, Seahawks, Packers. Um, Packers, for example, uh, their running game just completely got demolished uh, last week, so on Sunday. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how the 49ers go. Game plan's got to be run the ball, run the ball. Uh, but, yeah, I, I still pick the Packers only because of, there's just so many significant injuries on the 49ers. I had to pick the Packers. Uh, moving on to the Texans and Jaguars. Uh, this one's a lot easier uh, because we all know the Jags are who we thought they were. So, um, you know, there's that. And uh, Deshaun Watson, uh, J.J. Watt, all these, you know, people definitely going to be trying to, you know, ball out and show that they're still a worthy team and everything. Uh, I just think the talent is more on the Texans side in this game. So I picked the Texans to win. Uh, moving on to the Giants in Washington. Man, that game against the Bucks and Giants, I cannot believe it was that close, uh, but it was. And uh, the Giants potentially got screwed on a, you know, tying um, two-point, you know, whatever you want to uh, argue about uh, with that. But I will say with the fight that they put in and Joe Judge being the definitely the right coach for that position um, or for that team, uh, I think they might actually pull out a win over here in Washington because I think Washington is still trying to figure things out and trying to get things together. Um, and I just, yeah, I feel like the Giants are going to be way more prepared and way more ready to go in there and try to get a win, especially after losing how they did last week. Uh, Ravens, Colts. We have uh, the Ravens. I'm not going to lie. They rushed the hell out of us last week. Um, but they're going against the Colts, who um, the Colts are nobody to sleep on. They're 5-2. and two. They're a pretty damn good team. Their defense is pretty good. It's all relying on pretty much Phillip Rivers and if he can, you know, be consistent and everything and not in the bad way throwing a bunch of picks, but more, you know, just not turning the ball over and just trying to get some points. But, yeah. With all that, I picked the Ravens because I think the Ravens just have more firepower and just just losing how they did last week to us. You know, that's going to make them really want to win this week, uh, I would imagine, especially if they got to keep up with us in the division. So uh, I picked the Ravens for that game. But that would, that I will say that will be a pretty close game because uh, that defense on the Colts is nasty. We have the Vikings, Lions. Uh, I can't believe I picked the Lions last week against the um, Colts, and I didn't even put into account that their defense was so good. Uh, but I, I picked the Vikings to win here because I think they're going to just try to do the same thing that they did last week, and they're just going to try to run the ball and everything because if they could beat Green Bay like that, um, they probably have a pretty good chance of beating the Lions like that. And what really made me go with the Vikings is uh, Matthew Stafford was put on the COVID list, so I don't even know if he's going to play. Um, that's unfortunate. 
So I picked the Vikings, and we got Titans, Bears. Uh, I can't believe the Titans lost last week. That was definitely a trap game for them. Uh, the Bears, the Bears are just, they are definitely a confusing team. Um, they, they seem like they can be great, but I just don't know what they're missing. Uh, you know, because you can't say QB. they got a Super Bowl winning QB. So, I mean, I don't know what it is that they're missing, but, uh, yeah. I, I don't think they have a chance against the Titans, though, because uh, the Titans, Mike Rabel and everything, he is going to ensure that he doesn't lose this shit because, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's going to put them pretty pretty behind in the AFC if it, when it comes to, you know, getting later in the season and all that. Uh, so I picked the Titans for that. Panthers, Chiefs, enough said. Chiefs are going to win. I mean, you know, everybody's calling them the best team still. Whatever. But, uh, like I said, I'd rather be under the radar. Seahawks, Bills. Uh, I picked the Seahawks because the Bills, they seemed like they were pretty damn good those first few weeks. But, um, you know, I mean, it, it's like when they get stacked up against a team like the Seahawks or anything. Uh, it just doesn't work out. So I think the Seahawks are going to end up pulling this out. Uh, and, you know, Russell Wilson will continue his MVP campaign. Uh, Falcons, Broncos. Um, man, the Broncos, they do play hard. They really do. And I'm not going to lie, I could probably go either way with this one because this is one where you could pick the Falcons and the Falcons could potentially win this in the second half. But we all know the Falcons, so the Broncos could potentially come back in the second half and win like they did against the Chargers. Uh, very possible. You know, I would not be surprised if I was wrong on this one, but I picked the Falcons just because, I mean, you know, Julio Jones is a monster, and as long as Matt Ryan can at least hook up with him a few times and that defense at least tries a little bit, they could, they could have a chance. Raiders, Chargers. Uh, I picked the Raiders to win because I, the Chargers are good, but I just don't know if they are good enough to maintain uh, a whole game and what and whatnot, like winning and everything, like last week, for example, or a couple other weeks. I mean, yeah, I think the Raiders are definitely on a roll right now. Um, they went and beat the the Browns, de uh, held them to six points uh, after Baker had that, you know, incredible. I mean, whether or not, I mean, you know, it, it's. It's pretty incredible they held them to that uh, with all the weapons they have, even without OBJ. So I still pick the Raiders because I think John Gruden's getting that team at least in the right direction, uh, regardless of his methods of doing it. But they're on their way. Uh, I picked the Raiders. Uh, Cardinals, Dolphins, this is going to be one of the uh, best matchups for me this week because this is going to be like two rookie quarterbacks going against each other. Uh, both have almost a similar play style. Uh, Kyler's more of a runner and everything. But uh, these two are just out there to try to prove some stuff. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty damn fun, especially on two teams who haven't been relevant in quite a long time. It's nice to see that they're finally getting some, like, excitement for them. Uh, so I'm happy about that. But I picked the Cardinals to win. I gave them the edge because, one, they're, it's a home game, and two, so they don't, they don't have to travel. And two, Kyler is, uh, he is definitely magic with his feet. But that Dolphins defense is, you know, something to look out for. Um, so I give the Cardinals a slight edge. Uh, bias game, of course, right here. We have the Steelers and the Cowboys. Um, of course, I picked the Steelers. Um, but this, you know, this could be a trap game. Uh, last week, if we would have lost, you know, that would have been that would have been a lot easier to take uh, because you know that's a tough that's a tough ass team. Um, but this team, uh, you know, you, you go and win against in Baltimore. You know, last week, and then if we come out and we lose to the Cowboys this week, it's not going to look good. People are going to be talking so much bad about us um, and all this kind of stuff. Um, but you know, we'll see what happens. Of course, I pick the Steelers, biased as always. Uh, and then now we have the Saints, Bucks. This is uh, this is probably like the big time game. You know, like I said, the Dolphins, Cardinals. That's an exciting game, but you know, this is like the big boy game because you got Drew Brees. And you got Tom Brady. Uh, these both in at least four categories, touchdowns, receptions, first downs, and another thing, I think, uh, yards or something, whatever it is. They're both like one and two, one and two, one and two. So uh, the, these two are, you know, they've been around. They've put up so many numbers. Uh, it's just, it's going to be a battle for sure. Uh, I can't wait to see it. And uh, I definitely picked uh, the Buccaneers because I just think, they have more firepower, and I think they're more together, more of a unit uh, than the Saints. And uh, a 
uh, stat that I heard is their offensive line is actually is actually all played 98%, I think, of snaps together. That's incredible. Um, that's going to definitely bring you success. So, I, I mean, I, I'm definitely going to go with the Bucks here. Uh, even though they came close with the Giants, that doesn't matter. It, they have they have the right stuff to at least go out and win. So I think they're going to do that, and they're not going to try to you know make this close. I would assume. Uh, we'll see though. I picked the Bucks. Patriots Jets. I picked the Patriots because we all know the Jets are the Jets, and the Jets are probably going to tank, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Adam Gase, you know. Well, yeah, I'm, I don't even want to go into this game. It's, you know, I'd rather just keep it at Patriots are going to win because one, Patriots have lost like the last three. So, you know, they they got to get a win here. Um, and, yeah, I'm sure Cam Newton will be back on track. He might rush for a touchdown, throw for two. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens, especially against the Jets. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. That's all my predictions. And on the screen now, I have all of my predictions as normal at the end of my videos. I have my current record, and there's the bias, of course, and all the winners I have circled in green. Uh, right now, 81-36-1 on the season. Very proud of that because, uh, you know, I'd never expect it to be, like, you know, of course I'm not hitting a hundred percent, but, you know, I, I am feeling pretty Mike Tomlin-ish where I, I haven't had a losing... A uh, week at all, actually. Uh, this week came close. I think I was eight and six this week, so that was pretty close. But yeah, I mean, I still have not had a losing week yet. I, I've at least been above five hundred, and uh, you know, these past like I think these past three weeks, two of these weeks, I I did not hit good at all. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with uh, what's wrong with me. My predictions have been off for sure, but. We're heading in the right direction. We're, we're getting there. Uh, we're in week nine, and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully your team wins. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully my team wins because being undefeated feels good. Uh, and that's all for my predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Till the next time, au revoir. And if you happen to enjoy the content, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Take it forever easy.